Can you hear me okay? Can you hear me? It's just a good feeling, but this isn't our Super Bowl. Um, this is just another game for us. So we have to play them. Can you, can you hear me okay? Can you hear me? Now I can. Okay, we're going to start with Rich. All right. Uh, congratulations on the win. Um, I know that you've been a part of this team for quite a while. What does a win over the Patriots and the significance within the division mean to you? It's great to have this win, honestly. You know, we worked hard this week. We knew uh, coming into the game it was going to be a smash mouth game. We, we're we familiar with them. They're familiar with us. So it was just excited to get this win. Every win in the NFL is hard. So anytime you can finish the game with the W, I'm always happy and excited. And Jerry, for the second week in a row, it comes down to the defense making a play right at the end of the game to really seal this off. As a defensive unit, what does that mean to you guys in the room? We like it. Uh, that's something that we always talk about in the off season, throughout the week, you know, being able to go out there and play complimentary football. But if if need be, we can go out there and close the game out. And, you know, this is one thing we talk about in our D-line room with Coach Washington is finding ways to get to the ball and cause turnovers. And so to watch Zim go out there and play all game and then to go out there and close the game out, that was fantastic. It was exciting. Thank you very much, Jerry. Hey, Jerry, Matt Bovey here, kind of feeding off what you just said. You know, a couple weeks ago, Zimmer wasn't even on the 53-man roster, and today he made the play to seal the win. As a veteran in this league, what have you seen from him and just kind of how monumental was that play tonight? Uh, you know, you see Zim in the building every day. I mean, he's the first one in, always one of the last to leave. So just all of his hard work that he's put in throughout the week to see it translate on the field is amazing. You know, I'm always – Happy for our guys when we're out there making plays just because I know the kind of work that we put in throughout the week. I know how talented we are. You know, it, it, it may not always show on the on the uh, stat sheet, but I know those guys up front with me are always battling play in and play out. So for Zim to go out there and do what he did, it was fantastic. How pivotal is it that once he got the opportunity, he stepped up and made plays? Because for some people, they get the opportunity, they can't capitalize, and then it's, you know, back to where they don't want to be. You know, what have you seen maybe from him that makes him like a different player, different breed, I guess? I think it's just the way that we're taught. It's the way that we're coached. Coach Washington does a great job of keeping us informed, keeping us ready. And us on the sideline, we keep each other ready. We go over our notes. We go over the game plan. So we're always in tune to the game. And then just throughout the week, our our preparation. Uh, we always talk about different ways to uh, attack our opponent. We always focus on getting the ball out and causing turnovers just because we know how key and how pivotal that is in this game. So for us to go out there and execute everything that he's been working with us since this spring, you know, it's, it's amazing to see. Just we always talk about it, grow, rush, and produce. And so we're always trying to find ways to kind of grow every game. So it was great today. Thank you so much, Jerry. Yeah. Jerry, Sean Warrell with the AP, congratulations on the win. Thank this you, thank is a, um, Earlier on Wednesday or Thursday, whenever it was, you, you said Wednesday, you said you're going to bite your tongue before making any proclamations. What can you say now? Man, that was fun. <laughs> it was a fun game today. It was fun to go out there and play Buffalo Bills football. Four quarters of Smash Mouth football go out there and do what we did. You know, we understand how important division games are. So for guys to show up today and make key plays to get us off the field on third down and to also end the game, you know, it was big for our defensive line room, big for Zimmerman to do what he does. You know, it's something that we know what Zim's about. You know, we call him our quiet assassin because he comes to work and he's going to work. So it's just great to see him go out there and produce and make the plays. And last thing, We've seen so many games that have gone the other way against the Patriots where you, you, they, they snatch victory when it looks like they're going to lose. Um, was there any, I mean, what's it like to, to do it to them? Man, it feels good, to be honest with you. Uh, to be on the other side of the spectrum, you know, to be watching our offense hit that victory formation, I mean, it, it felt amazing. You know, Coach always talks about having that championship mindset. And so when we took the field, our our goal was to force a turnover. You know, we said it when we got in that huddle that we got to find a way to force a turnover to help our team. And so it, 
it, you know, it came. It didn't come as quick as we wanted, but hey, a turnover in this business, you'll take it because it keeps points off the board. So I think it was key for uh, for us to go out there and uh, play the way we did, but you know, also just sticking with coach, sticking with our game plan and just having that championship mindset. Like he's always said, he's brought that kind of mentality to this organization in this building and you can see it turning for the great. Thanks, Jerry. Hey, Jerry Jay with the Buffalo News here. Kind of similar to John's question there. This is uh, your fourth year here with Sean. He had never beaten a Bill Belichick team before. How happy are you now that your head coach doesn't have to answer that question anymore about going up against the Belichick coach team and, and beating them? Man, I'm thrilled just because of uh, watching him come in this building and change the uh, culture around com completely. Talk about winning, preaching to the guys the fundamentals of this game, uh, which we are using now and we're – you, you see how it's starting to um, pay off. I think it's just key, and I'm happy for him so he can get that chip off his shoulder, but we should have done it a long time ago just because of the way he's been teaching and coaching us up in this building. So now we got to continue to just use his mantra, you know, use his motto, keeping our head down, worried about the next game. I think we got a great team, and he's put this together. And then uh, Dean Marlowe obviously jumps on that last fumble. It seemed like in run support, he made some good plays for you early in the game. Uh, the job that he did stepping in for Micah, uh, that, those are big shoes to fill. Just what did you think about his game? I thought he played fantastic. You know, it just goes to show a great coaching staff that we have. You know, we always preach about when one man goes down, the next man steps up. But in order to have that, you got to have coaches who are willing to spend the extra time with players to make sure that they understand the game plan just because guys are dealing with a lot, dealing with special teams and defense. And so for Dean to go out there and to play a solid four quarters, you know, making TFLs in the backfield when we need them to be, filling up A-gaps on rundowns, you know, that's what a safety does. And so for him to go up there and play big and have a big, huge game today, pick up the fumble for us to kind of get off the field here at the end, that's key. And But that's what Dean does, you know. We get to see it here in Orchard Park. I get to see it at training camp. He's always flying around making plays. So I'm excited that he got his opportunity. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, Jerry, Dante Lasting, Bills.com. In today's game, you surpassed Kyle Williams for the fifth most sacks in Bills franchise history. So oh, congratulations on that. Uh, can you just reflect on that? What does that mean to you? Well, I honestly didn't know I was anywhere near 9-5 Big Kyle, man. I mean, uh, it's a huge honor to be mentioned in the same sentence with him just because he's a legendary Bill. I got to play with him, so I know what he brings to this. I know what he means and what he brings to this organization and this in this city. So, you know, anytime you put my name with Kyle Williams' name, that's a huge honor just because I know he's a stand-up guy. He's a great player. Definitely. Well, congratulations. Appreciate it. That's everyone. Thanks, Jerry. All right. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. Bye.